All right, we're on hole number two in the Community Cup. We're in the rookie division. I'm trying to remember how to play. All right. So on this one, I'm going to take a Saturn and a Navigator. You can, I mean, obviously, hey, this is a beginner hole. You can bring anything here, and it's going to work. You'll be able to get it on there, but I'm going to I'm going to practice here with a Saturn and a Navigator. What I'm really really want to know here is my red line stuff. Like, is this a better hole for a zero power ball, and I could bring a Santa ball, or you know, is the one power ball the right ball, or do I need to bring a bigger ball just for the red line stuff? So. And I'm going to try and do a little bit of backspin here and see what happens. And I made a note on here to try a katana for the mid mid max club or minimum club. Hole number two Meadow Castle. Wow, I haven't played these holes in forever. So we're coming back into this range. I'm going to try about five backspin. There's four, there's five. Let's see what that looks like. I'm going to start off on the fringe. We're at minimum club, so we're just about. And I should have shown that better. I was trying to set it up the way that I... The way that my notes say. And see if I had the distance right. So I got the stuff, I got the distance and everything right, right there. So, what I was trying to do was with five backspin, starting off on the fringe, so I was about mid fringe. Thinking of it as minimum club, and minimum club for my Saturn is three backspin, or excuse me, three per ring. I'm just making some notes here as I'm talking, so. And see where that is. I played this hole, I've got, I played this hole like twice. And the first time I played it, I just winged it. I went out there and, and did it to see what it looked like. And went back and watched the video and then made adjustments to it. So you can go back and watch how I set that up. But what I'm looking for is I want that little bit of roll out there at the end. It didn't it didn't backspin where we were trying to make it go backwards and come back to the hole. I want it to I want it to hit and release and have a little bit of roll forward. And my line was just a little off. And I think I started it off a little bit to the left because it looked like it was going to slope that direction. All right, let's see what par three we get. All right, this is the island hole. There's a lot of holes. There's a lot of new holes. They've been coming out. They've been pretty regularly coming out with new holes for the game. So some of these older holes like this, this hole right here in the upper divisions is mm -hmm. a tough, tough hole. And from the Masters tees, this is a tough, if you get big winds going in the wrong direction in one-on-one -on -one play, this is a tough hole. I've actually been on this hole where I laid up here in the front and dared my opponent to try and get on. <laughs> and they tried to get on and they ended up in the drink. I'm going to do it just to demo it. So I know the key thing here is, is that you want to you're going to over adjust about 10%.
in one-on-one, -on -one, whatever, it doesn't matter. You always want to over adjust about 10% on this hole. So that would be a 2.4 wind instead of a 2.2. So we're pretty close to our two and a half rings. And we hit it great to the left. game. I haven't played that hole in a long time. I know the ball wants to roll a little. I, I'm trying to actually on that particular hole, if we go to Golf Clash Notebook, which hole was that? And they got some weird setups here for the par threes. So it's this hole right here. I was trying to bring the ball right to it and have it stop. I didn't want to bring the hill behind it into play. If your shot is, is to bring the hill behind it into play, it does. If you're very close to the pin, if you're like within one cut of it, it does tend to roll up and then kind of come back towards the hole. But if you get past that, the slope goes down. And so it's, the, it's going in this direction right about here. So if you land on this side, it wants to roll up and then come back towards the hole. But if you get right on that ridge or more than, you know, a cut or two, thinking of each one of these little cuts here from the mower, if you get a couple cuts out there, it'll actually pull it off and it'll roll further away. So I'm trying to avoid putting that hill into play. And what I'm doing on this hole is I'm trying to come more straight at it and actually have the ball where, you know, it, if it does go past it, it might roll back just a little bit, but the hill really wasn't in the play. 10%. 10% wind. That's key. And if you're on this hole in one-on-one -on -one play, just a little side note, if you're on this hole in one-on-one -on -one play and the wind's going in this direction, that backspin that I put on there, you may want to think more in line of changing it to the point where you're either using very little or no backspin and you're actually putting the hill into play and trying to get it to come back down but always remember where that line is so try and stay over here so it comes back to the hole. Because if you use any any backspin when you've got headwind on this hole, this chasm right here affects the ball severely and you'll end up being short and very likely you could go into the into the chasm and it's a bad deal. All right. That was hole number 2. Get back in the game. Thanks for watching.